The media has played a great role in keeping people interested in Jack the Ripper. Even until the centenary of the murders in 1988, there, there was very little general public interest. There have been some books in the 1960s and through the 1970s, maybe one every two or three years, which is still fairly popular today. But when the centenary came after that, things started to explode. And uh, I think people are now more tolerant of blood and gore, and people are also more interested in, in retaining their heritage, even though that heritage may be dubious. Uh, so the media, and movies especially, have played a huge part. There are so many television documentaries on Jack the Ripper. One or two comes onto TV every single year these days. So the media has been uh, responsible for, for hyping it. And people read things in books, they see things in newspapers, they see them on the television, and they get their interest. It, it's almost networking Jack the Ripper to the public. Even to this day, and in the future, we are never going to know who Jack the Ripper was. People have, have studied for years trying to find out who it could be, and every suspect that has been named has at least one good reason why they can't be the Ripper. So much has been uncovered that no matter who you name, there is enough evidence these days to say that even if there is a mountain of evidence that suggests one person was Jack the Ripper, there is also a mountain of evidence to say that they weren't. My own personal opinion is that he was a local uh, Jewish man who was skilled with his hands, may have worked as a horse slaughterer or as a butcher. I think you'll find many Ripper historians share the same opinion. The identical picture was first shown on a Channel 5 documentary in the UK about five years ago. Uh, we call it the Freddie Mercury photograph, because it looks like the, the late lead singer of Queen. It's based on every description we have of Jack the Ripper. It is a, a waste of time, it's a game. Jack the Ripper has been described as old, young, fat, thin, tall, short, dark, pale, moustache, no moustache, everything. And that is simply a fusion of all the, all the suspects that have been named. Now people often wonder, why is Jack the Ripper so famous? It's nothing to do with him being the world's first serial killer. That's a myth. There's been serial killers for centuries and centuries. The difference with the Ripper is that he was the first one the average man in the street knew about because he was the first serial killer who killed so many women, all strangers, in such a short space of time, in such a small, densely populated area and mutilated the victim so badly. No one was ever caught and put on trial for the murders, so we'll never know for sure how many women he actually killed. Estimates range between 3 to 17. Most people think he killed 5. Some of us think he actually killed 6. Doch was würden Ripperologen denken, wenn nach all der jahrelangen, teilweise lebenslangen Suche nach Antworten plötzlich die Identität des Rippers herauskäme? Nach unendlicher Zeitaufwendung, um Details und Indizien zusammenzutragen, nach etlichen Spekulationen und Thesen, was würden sie tun? If, if I personally found the information myself, after the initial elation, there would be a great deal of worry. I have uh, been the discoverer of some important items connected to Jack the Ripper in the past. And although most people appreciate it, there are always one or two people who make your life very difficult. I've even had a stalker who went to prison. Uh, yeah, it, it become a, can become a very dangerous game. Um, so you would have to be very careful of what you did with the information. Um, all you can do is present it to people and uh, try to keep maybe some degree of modesty about it. Uh, I mean, I have an ego like everyone has an ego, and, and when the ego gets too big, then people start to kick you a bit, even if you're only doing good things. So you'd have to be careful what you do with the information. Um, I, th I think for myself, I I'd probably have another book out of it. <laughs> but books do not earn you money, unless, you unless you're uh, J.K. Rowling. Uh, you, you won't get rich from writing books. <laughs>